David, thanks for being with us. You know, what is your understanding of the reasons the Durham Public School Board pulled the Great Bear from its library collection? Well, I wish I could tell you specifically because they haven't been really forthcoming with me. Um, what I know is just what I've seen from a leaked email where they've said that the Great Bear is too cultural and is too much ceremony because it's their policy not to teach it. Uh, and what was, what was most concerning for me was that they said the book was harmful, harmful to Indigenous children and families, which really shocked me. Is this, you know, and this is a non-Indigenous board that is making this, this statement, or where, where are they getting this from, do you think, or do you know? I don't know specifically. I know that some people on the advisory um, committee uh, that are on that board are, are Indigenous, some are not. Uh, I know that they have consultants that they speak with who are Indigenous. Um, so I think like a lot of this could be cleared up or at least uh, clarified somewhat if they would just um, respond and let us know um, what's going on and offer some clarification, which is what my publisher only uh, really, that's all they asked for. Um, and they had contended after that that th those emails went to spam so that they didn't see them, which I also found a little bit bizarre. You know, many of your books have been used for teaching in a classroom setting. There are, are there things in uh, The Great Bear that stick out to you that you think would be controversial and uh, be the reason why it's been yanked from the shelves for review? No. You know, this is a book that is a, is a, a book of empowerment. It's a book that is uh, talks about anti-bullying. Um, it is a book that has positive representation of Indigenous characters. Um, there's nothing in this book that I felt um, that would have any any anything controversial in it um, that would upset or harm any children. In fact, quite the opposite. I found it quite offensive because um, I work very hard for. Uh, every day to make sure that I'm writing books and speaking to kids and trying to empower them and to make them feel like they're valued and, they're, and that they're, they matter. Mm -hmm. And um, and so hearing that uh, reasoning was really quite upsetting to me. My 11 year old read the book and he would agree with your take on it. He, he, he enjoyed it. Uh, you know, the school board has said that uh, they would have more to say on this issue next week. They've got a board meeting tonight. You know, what's the outcome that you're looking for? Well, I like, you know, I'd like transparency. I would like to see a change of policy. I think there's things that are going on within that board that I'm hearing from teachers who don't want to be don't want to be named for fear of reprimand, um, that really want to see things change. Um, and so, I, I mean, I, I've said before, I don't really want an apology unless there's action behind it. Um, you know, you can put my book on the shelves, but if you're going to do the same for a couple of other books, um, then I feel like I'm not doing my job as an advocate. So I want to see I want to see big changes that occur. I don't want to see um, this happened again. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of, and I think a lot of Canadians aren't, of censorship or banning literature. Kids need to have these books in their hands. Yeah. Well, we're sorry that you're going through this. We look forward to uh, a fruitful outcome in all of this. And thanks for joining us to shed some light on what's going on in the Durham Region School Board. Thanks, Melissa.